Hi guys. So it's been a minute. What a year. Um, so I just thought I would make a little update video, you know, and then maybe one of these days upload consistently and enough where I don't have to keep making update videos. Like that'd be really cool. Um, we're getting there. Anyway, um, working on making a little filming corner, but until then videos in the kitchen, which, you know, maybe that's on brand. Maybe it's just, we have coffee. We talked about copywriting. We sit together and have a little coffee chat. Um, so, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Where do I begin? I, I don't even know what I said in my last video. I, oh, I know I made someone like AI and other things. Um, it's been a crazy year. I think actually the next year of my life is going to be as equally, hopefully not, not as hard, but well, hard, hard in different ways. I'd like a lot less personal life fuckery and a little more like, oh, my business is changing in great ways, you know? <laughs> so what's going to happen to the channel? Um, I'm going to be honest, I got really, really burned out. I'm talking about copywriting. I think we're still going to talk about copywriting, but I think what, what else is there to say? I feel like I've covered everything. I mean, minus like getting into the nitty gritty of tactical things and all that, like, I feel like I've covered most of the basics. Maybe we could still work on like email funnels and stuff. And I know on YouTube, you just need to accept that you have to repeat yourself a lot. As a content creator, you just keep repeating the same things. I just didn't want to accept that for like a little minute, you know? <laughs> I just wanted to take a break <laughs> of talking about, okay, in order to get your first client, you need to do some free work. You need to have a portfolio. If you don't have a portfolio, you're not gonna get clients until then and like rinse and repeat. Um. But I thought I would, we're going to talk about copywriting. That's going to continue as much as I think I'm like, I'm done talking about it. Like I've been doing it for 10 years. Like I might as well share some of that knowledge, right? Um, but we're going to sprinkle in content creation because here's why. Actually, let me just talk about the topics that are on my mind. And if you have other ones that you want me to talk about, like you should feel free to leave a comment on what you think we should talk about. Um, and by we, I mean like I may bring people on the channel again, like, you know, so I can go find these people on experts and talk about things. Content creation, um, various related skills to learn, like SEO, those kinds of things. And then I think we're going to talk about networking. I think networking is the key that almost everybody is like missing from their freelance toolkit, I guess, you know, like people just expect to suddenly decide to be a copywriter and then like somehow just make six figures overnight. And like the bridge between most of that usually is like kind of brand building, but also, um, networking for better or worse I know everyone says like oh your skill should matter more than who you know look outside look at the world look at people in so many positions in this world how many yes skills matter but like networking is also a big chunk of the pie so I thought I would maybe we'll share some networking things and I think because that's been so much of my strategy in my life. I mean, even right now, <laughs> also a little transparency behind the scenes. I got a little lazy with creating content because I have one client who combined with my other clients. One client alone is a decent salary in this country. That's how much consistent work they're giving me. And that got a little comfy, a little comfy for me, you know? And between that and other work and all together, I was like, why should I make client like content? I'm vibing, you know, <laughs> like we're, we're doing okay. We're, you know, things are popping. Um, so I got a little lazy, but like I had a little chat with one of my good friends and lit the fire again on how important it is, you know, to keep pushing and going. So just an FYI for all freelancers out there, that happens even to us experienced veterans too. You had to get comfy and then all of a sudden 
maybe, you know, I've had multiple times in my career that client now cuts the budget, right? And now you're scrambling and panicking and you realize you should have been doing like your networking and your content and all that all along. So we're going to talk more about that. We're going to talk more into those topics besides just like copywriting tutorials. Not that copywriting will go away. We will always talk about it, like I said, but back to the first point. I think content creation, my new also, I'm standing so I can like shake my body because it helps me like think of thoughts when I'm verbalizing them. Um, because my natural thing is writing, not speaking. Speaking is not one of my skill sets. Um, I can be charming with clients. I can be friendly, but speaking is not my thing. This is really <laughs> going against all of my natural tendencies. So when I see comments that are like, you talk weird, I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm a writer. This is not my skill set. Um, anyway, but I think I also think that's like 10% of the charm of why people watch my videos because it's not very polished. Like that's not my brand. That's not like me in a suit. Hey guys, make six figures in six days, whatever. Anyway, um, this is much more the nitty gritty of the like how many gray hairs freelancing has given me. Um, but content creation side tangent okay I will get back to making more concise videos but like well, this is just a casual sit down um and by sit down I mean stand up <laughs> I think all writers at this point now 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 we're not I'm not dancing around this at all I think all people who have the skill set of writing should build their own things period you know what I'm done I'm done I don't think my ethos anymore is that you should always have clients I think you should take that skill set and build something for yourself. Me having this YouTube channel, which only pays like $32 a month, but I have other things because I don't really focus too much on the channel, obviously. Hi, hello for the first time in a uh, year. Um, but having those things when shit hits the fan and the economy tanks, whatever, all of this, having your own thing, your own little, whether you sell a physical product, whether you have a website that does like affiliate marketing, or maybe you sell your own ebooks or whatever, um, those things can save you. Um, so I now am turning into someone who truly believes that if you have the skill set of writing, you need to get selfish and use that skill set for something for your own. Which is hard because if all day you're writing for clients and stuff, it's hard to have that creative energy to expend into your own thing, right? Um, so like, I, we're gonna work on, we're gonna work our way through that because this is just like the start of the t iceberg for like my thesis on this, but I am now at that point. Here's why. That's mainly the video. So if you want to leave here, this is, I'm just on a tangent on this for a minute. When you do things for clients, you give them the product and then yes, okay, copywriters can make like residual sales off of things that they make or whatever, but you give them a fun email funnel, you give them a blog, you give them whatever it is, whatever the deliverable is, you give it to them. And then that business enjoys all the tail end of all the things you built. If you give them a blog, they now get that website traffic. They now get those sales. They now get that Google search results. Like they know what they're paying for. And it's great. You know, like a lot of times it's very transactional. It's great. Like you get paid, they get things, everybody wins, right? But now, <laughs> now at this age and this point in my career, I think it is very, very, very important for writers who are even decent at copywriting to take all of that nice little residual trail effect of your work and give it to yourself. Whether that's in social media posts, on your own blog, on LinkedIn, in a newsletter, we, I'm not dancing around that anymore. I, you know, I, that is now my full career ethos. I have been in this too long. I think that's very important. I am very glad for, and proud of everything I've ever done for clients. I also think about 
If I had even taken like one of those clients who I did like a whole year of consistent long-term work and I had all of that content for something that I built and what that would give me now, huh. And I have a few, like I have, I have sites and like I have things and I've just seen like the baby, baby, baby tail end residuals of what that has done for me. And now we're not dancing around anymore. That's the most important thing I think for all creators to do. Content writers, copywriters, email writers. I think, I think that's it. So that's where the future of the channel is going. We're going to talk more about that and how you take your skill set and you build those things. Um, I mean, feel free to stick around. We're still going to talk about copywriting. If you're here for just the vibes and just me playing with my hair and flailing my arms around and like thinking about ideas out loud just on the internet. Just that's all this channel is. It's just like my brain thinks things and then I share them on the internet. It's not that deep, guys. Sorry, I finally like went through my comments in the last few months and I was like, oh, people don't like me. And lots of you are very, very sweet. There's just... A few, you know, whatever, um, which doesn't bother me. I've been a woman making content on the internet for more than 15 years. I've seen it all. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so now I'm going to hammer double down on like my thoughts and my opinions and my ideas and like how less I will become more unhinged and less polished on this website. Bet. <laughs> um, anyway, that is the future of this channel. That is where we're going. Um, feel free to stick around or not. Either way, thank you very much. Um, that's it. This has been, you know, and if not, thank you to anybody who has ever even watched five seconds of my video. I appreciate you so much. I can't believe, like, this is, I just, I set up my camera. This is a new camera, by the way, so now y'all can really see, like, every single <laughs> wrinkle. Um... And I make jokes about that. It's just funny, guys. I'm not really that panicky about aging. Um, but, you know, I've just sat down, turned on a camera, half the 90% of the time, don't even have a script, and we just, we just chat. We just chat back and forth about the freelance life. And I think that's important, especially because so many freelancers are so alone in their journey. But now I think it's even more important that we all have a space to, like, talk to each other. Okay, that's it. Future of this channel. Great. Bye, guys.